Hello everyone, this is Christian Melodexaton Interactive, and in this video we are going to do guess, two different things. One, we're going to f create a few new types in our store so that we make it easier to create actions and mutations and uh, you know import those actions into our components, so we'll, we'll deal with that first. And then after that, we're going to add the ability to remember which view the user was looking at when they navigated. So we'll create a navigation history so that we'll be able to actually implement, I guess, a real back button, which instead of what we're doing now, back just follows sort of the uh, route tree that we've created with our uh, notion of a parent. We'll just then follow the history of the user back to whatever page they started with. We'll take care of both of those things in this video. Before we get started here, I'd like to say thank you for watching the video. Uh, also, if you're a subscriber, thank you again. And if you're not, I uh, would appreciate it if you thought about subscribing to the channel. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started here. So uh, first order of business is to sort of add a few things that make it easier to do what we've already done and sort of update what we've done. So the first thing to do is in the store constants folder here, we're going to create a new uh, constant export const state, I call it accounts. That's state. No, it's not. Can just be arbitrary. So it's accounts here. Let's go ahead and save that. And go into the store types file here. We're going to add a few types here. And we need to import a few from Vuex. Import from Vuex. And what we need is the action context, the action tree and the mutation tree. Perfect. And now we'll redefine some stuff. So we have an export, call it action function of type T. And that's just going to be the payload of T void method. I would call it, um, um, I forgot my export and stuff here type. So I would call it action method, but Vuex does have a action method. So try and avoid name conflicts there. Export as type, call it store action tree. And that's an action tree of type I store state. I store state. And let's just paste that and we'll have a store, what do I call it? Context and what is it called? Action context. Now we have the action context and last one we need export, please. Type and I called it store mutation tree. And that's a mutation tree. I store state. So we save those. So the reason we did all that is that if we go in here to our account module now, at the top, we won't need to import these three statements from Vuex. We're going to get rid of the type that we created to make things a little easier there. We're importing here from store, so let's come down here and add the imports that we need now. So we called it one a store action tree, the other a store context, and a store mutation tree. So this thing now becomes a store, well, of course. This becomes a store action tree. This is of course the store mutation tree. We have a couple of these, so this becomes store context and store context. Save that. And the last thing that we're going to update is in our view, so the accounts view here. So we'll need to bring in, what do we want? We want 
action function and we want state accounts. So this just becomes state accounts now, so no string there. If we take this payload type and make this an action function of that payload type. Same with this. Action function of that payload type. So we could save that now. So that takes care of all the updating that I wanted to do. And now it's time to add a little bit. So let's come in here and inside of our store folder here, we're gonna create a new file, call it route-types.ts. And that import from, and we want components slash routing. And from there we want the routes, so that's the enum export interface i route state and that's going to hold a property history which will be a routes array and we're going to while we're at it export a type so we want to be able to put things into that history so push route payload and that's going to be routes perfect so while we're at it, since we've created this routes here, let's go to our, in, our types, go to index, export star from store slash route types. So now they're exported. And now we can create a file, new file, route dash initial state.ts import from at slash store slash route types and we want that uh, route state back and okay so export const initial state and that is of type i route state so we need our history and it'll start off as an empty array And to make our actions and mutations, we're going to first have to update the store types. So in our store types, we will import from route types, and that's an I route state. And down here in our store state, we're going to say routes is I route state. We're good to go there. So as I mentioned, we're going to create a new action and mutation. So let's go to our store constants file here and add our constants. So export const action push route action push route. So now we can push there, but we need to Mutate the state, so mutation, push, routes. Perfect, close that, and now we can create our module. So new file, and we want route-module.ts. So import from Vuex. We want the store import from slash store slash store constants. Bring in a few of those. So action push route mutation push route. And we'll need a few things from import from slash store types. Let's try this, see if I can get some help with typing these here. 
Can I get it now? No. I gotta close the file, open it. Sometimes it's finicky with the whole Telesense thing going on, so we're just gonna copy them in. Basically, they're all the types that we just used to update the account module. Import from slash store slash route types. In this one, we want the push route payload. Now I think we're in a position to make the actual uh, actions and mutations. So export const actions store action tree. So we have our constant action push. So this store I uh, store state deconstruct and our commit, which is a store context. And what we want is the route, which is the push route payload. Of course, the actions are super simple. Just commit where you want to go, which is the mutation string and the payload. Action is complete. Export const mutations and store mutation tree. So mutation that we want, mutation push. We'll get the state passed to us and the payload. So inside of there, we'll just say state.routes.history is going to be equal to payload, whatever was sent to us, and then whatever was in there before. We're basically treating history as a um, last in, first out sort of stack. And now we have the way to mutate that history. Well, we have the code to do it. We have to add it though. And that's gonna come from going into the store, which of course has now upset at us. So we import from and slash store slash uh, route initial state, initial state as route state. And we also need those actions or the action and mutation. So that's in store slash route module. Actions as route. Actions and mutations as route mutations. Perfect. And so we got our actions. We have our route actions. And routes mutations. And routes is route state. Save that. So now, existing within our state, we'll see just to refresh, we'll see that our state object contains our accounts, and now we have our routes with an empty history. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code here and we need to add routes to that. We're gonna do that just to wrap things up in this video by just going into the router outlet. And we're going to need to import a few things and I guess we will do it here. Import from at slash store. We're gonna need the action push route, the action, the action function, and the push route payload. So with that done, we can come down here and say at action and which one? It's the action push route and private read, on, read only. Push route that's a action function of type push route payload. So now we have defined the push route. For the moment we'll just come in here. Since we want to know where the user was, not where we're going, we'll use the from. So this dot push route 
And what we'll put in there is from dot route. So we'll put the enum in there. Let's go ahead and save that. Refresh things for good measure. And we'll go back to our developer tools. Let's go to, we'll do a few things. We'll go to accounts, we'll go to about, let's go back to home, to accounts, to home. So the entire time we were doing that, we're of course generating uh, or issuing these mutations to the state. And now our history contains five different uh, elements, each of which is just the enum that's related to that view. And so I think, so in this video, what we've taken care of is made a little bit easier to deal with those types related to our store, like the store action tree and such. And then we've also created the ability to remember what views the user has looked at so that in the next video, we can actually have a back button that just crawls down or up or whatever you want to call it. We'll go through that history and until we're back to wherever the user started. But until then, I will talk to you later. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. I know that your time is valuable. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and click the thumbs up button as well as share the video with your friends. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. And once again, thank you, and I will talk to you in the next video.